We are training River to accept eye drops for uh, a possible eye infection. a girl. Good girl. You want to get this drop? Snow leopards are a wonderful species of cat to work with. They're uh, pretty shy. They let you know how they're feeling in a more passive way than some of the more larger cats. Summit and River are really special to all the keepers here because they're the first snow leopard cubs we ever had born at Central Park. When the cubs were born, we noticed that they had a eyelid deficiency called a coloboma. It means that the fur that should be on the outside of the eyelid is now facing inward, and then every time they blink, that fur lies on the cornea and starts to irritate and scratch the cornea, which over time will lead to cataracts and blindness, and obviously a lot of pain. When we noticed it in the cubs, we were able to bring in an ophthalmologist, and he did reconstructive surgery on the eyelid to fix the malformation and to make it so that they could live happy, normal lives and that their eyes would not be uh, impaired in such a way. What it has led to is the possibility that they might have more sensitive eyes, uh, so we constantly monitor them for any issues. Hey kids, how you doing? Due to his eye sensitivity, we are training River to accept eye drops for uh, a possible eye infection. Since we can't hang our hand over them with an eye drop bottle, we've had to attach the eye drop bottle to a pair of forceps, which we stick through the mesh and then hang over their eye and squeeze the forceps so that our hands are safe. So the first step in that training is to get them used to staying focused on the keeper while something strange hangs very close to their eye, uh, and then just reinforcing heavily for that. Yeah. <gasps> River, you ready? Good girl, and you can come right up. Add a girl. Good girl. Here we go. You want to get this drop? Add a girl, River. What a good girl. River is actually in the stage where she is uh, readily accepting her eye drops three times a day. She comes right up, she stands against the fence, she lets us get her drops in, and she's good to go. a good boy today. Ah, talk away. Uh, seeing that this has been so successful with River, we're working into Summit's training regimen as well. We want to have him firm on the behavior so in the future, if he develops any issues due to his eye sensitivity, he'll already be set to go and accept eye drops. Summit. Summit, come on up. Come on up. Good, up, hold. And I, good boy, very nice. It's just such a important and critical husbandry behavior to have. You guys wanna go outside now? Typically, snow leopards are solitary animals. They live in an area where resources are extremely, extremely scarce. So if they stayed in family groups, they would never be able to support themselves. So due to their natural habitat and natural history, they are solitary unless a mother is rearing cubs. So this is a unique situation to have a male-female sibling pair still together. Come on, Summit, you too. They always like to go as a pair. Good job, kids. It's really been wonderful to see both of the animals grow up and mature and develop and come into their own, like, vibrant personalities. Come here! Hi! Hi! Who's a good boy? Looking for handouts? Oh. oh. Boy. 
Eagle Boy. Yeah. 